G'day and welcome back to Dark Solar Gaming and Lakeland Vale by Stevie. This is a newly released map by our good mate Stevie and we would like to thank him for giving us early access to help him test it out and preview it to the channel. But now we're going to head into and make a new series on this map. Now, just one thing. Previously we were doing a, a series on Fenton Forest and then we moved to Fenton Forest times four, uh, both maps by Stevie. Uh, unfortunately for the moment I'm putting a hiatus on Fenton Forest times four. I just don't have the time to spend in dealing all the background information, background stuff I have to do for a four times map and bring it to the channel. So for the moment that's in hiatus um, temporarily. When we bring it back, if we bring it back, I don't know. But for now, um, that's off the cards and we're going to replace it with this. So um, we will also wrap up the Western Australian series, but uh, we will have this, so we'll have Lakeland Vale and we'll also have Wilhelmina on the channel. Uh, and Wilhelmina videos will follow very, very soon. But nonetheless, let's get going. So first off, Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, this is our first official uh, Farming Simulator 19 video, apart from preview videos coming to the channel and what we're going to do is we're going to take on this map from the start and I mean take it on no cheats no extra money none of that sort of stuff and we're just going to play it as it lies so let's get in and have a look and see what we got all right so here we are we're at Lakeland we're on the uh the farmhouse here and but the problem is we don't own anything yet so let's uh go and have a quick look and see exactly what we do own or what we don't own so according to the game or the map we own nothing so we've started off with nothing being owned uh, so we're going to need to use our 1.2 million dollars and start setting ourselves up this also means we've got to be very judicious with our funding uh, all that sort of stuff but uh, we'll see how that all pans out now uh, the starting area for Lakeland Vale uh, incorporates all this area here so for three hundred ninety-nine thousand dollars, just shy of four hundred thousand, we get our farm, we get all our sheds, we get the chickens, we get the the bale storage barn or sales barn, we get the wool sales, we get the sheep pens, we get the pig pens, the cow pens, the horse paddock that'll go, um, <coughs> and five fields. That's a bargain. That really is. So. Uh, I think it goes without saying we're going to have to buy that. So let's uh, buy that. Would you like to buy this land for 399000 Yes. Okay. So now we own the land. Now, let's have a look and see what we've got there. Now, these are the crops that are currently in those fields. Um, so we have some canola. We have uh, some cotton by the look of it. We've got some oat, uh, barley and wheat. We've got a good flashing of, of crops there. Now, the state of those crops, field two and field five are both ready to harvest. Um, field five is canola, so we're going to have to get a harvester of some sort in straight away. Now, the thing we've got is we haven't got any money. We've got to be very careful of the money. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to be very careful. So I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to buy... <coughs> So the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to buy ourselves a combine harvester and a tractor and a trailer. That's the first things we're going to need just to at least start taking this crop in. So let's go to the shop and have a look and see what we're going to do. Uh, because obviously at the moment, um, oh, actually do we? We do. We do have the equipment. We gave us the equipment as well. Hmm, well, there you go. I didn't think we'd have any equipment. So that's the even bigger deal, isn't it? Well, I'm assuming that's ours. So 499,000. Uh, let's go. Let's go into here in our garage. Um, yes, yeah, so a 499,000 dollars board is not only the farm, but all the equipment as well. I'm surprised at that. But anyway, we won't look a gift horse in the mouth. So uh, let's uh, get going then. So, like we said, our first fields. Whoops. Uh, field five is ready for harvest now we haven't got any cotton equipment obviously so i'm thinking what we might do is we might just plow that straight in and get that um replanted so uh let's go do that first off now 
Here's a problem for us. Well, maybe a problem. We have John Deere on the farm. Now, the option we've got is we can use it or we can get rid of it. Now, I know I don't like the John Deere, and I've certainly said that John Deere is not something you'll see on this channel very much, if at all. Um, but I'm going to give it a go for this for this series. We are, I'm not going to play them full time. Settle down, Chris Webb. But we are going to use them. So let's uh, go see if we can find a plow and uh, deal with that field four. All right. So I think over here we've got a culty plow. We have indeed. So we might well. I can either grab that or I can grab the Amazon. Um, let's uh, let's take the Amazon. That should be okay. All right, there's one other thing I want to do. I'll be right back. Okay, apologies for that. All right, we're back here now and we're going to head off. So we're going to take the Amazon out and we're just going to rip up that field of cotton. So yes, we are going to switch things out a bit. Um, I know our good friend Chris Webb will be jumping up for joy knowing the fact that I'm driving these green things. Um, but it's just to appease him once. Doesn't mean I like them, Chris. It's all right. Anyway. Uh, so which field we're we going to? Let's just double check so I'm aware of where we're going. Uh, I think it was field four. Yeah, field four. All right. So as we've shown before in our preview video, uh, this is a new map from Stevie, and it's uh, great in its viewing and everything else. And we are really, really looking forward to playing it. Um, it certainly has a lot of undulations. The map is nowhere near flat. As you can see here, you can already see we're in a bit of a trough here. Um, and we've got to head up the hill and hill and get all this stuff, stuff done. So um, we'll see how things go. All right, let's go. So just going to start with... Uh, now, this thing's obviously struggling. Typical of a John Deere, isn't it? Um, <laughs> now we're going to just head up here and get this running. Uh, we'll put it on cruise. And see if we can get going. <clears throat> we may have to swap it out. We have got a, I think we've got a big New Holland, a New Holland T9 on the farm. Uh, that may be what we need to use because uh, this just has not got the grunt to do this job. So what we might do is we might just uh, actually put him on a hired worker for now. Uh, we'll let him continue off uh, because he is really, really struggling. And we might go and grab the New Holland. In fact, what we'll do, we'll do it the cheaty, cheaty way. So we've got three John Deere's by the look of it. Well, we haven't got... Well, we haven't got one. All right. Um, all right. So what was that one over there? Is that the 8400R? No. Okay. Let's grab one of the 8400s. Right. And we'll see if he can do a better job. So we'll head on over there and we'll take over with this and see if this does a, a better job of it. Otherwise, we might have to... Uh, Go and invest in a class and get the job done properly. Uh, in fact, what we might also do is we are going to probably look at using no class on this one, um, just purely for the fact to shake it up a bit and use some, some different equipment. Uh, we might bring in either some big buds um, or possibly some case, uh, bring in the Steiger or something like that. Um, but uh, a bit early to tell on that for the moment. So let's have to wait and see what we're going to do. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to bring him up to here. All right. Now we'll run over here. We'll kick him out of the tractor. All right. Okay. So we're just going to move him out. We've... Uh, he's, this tractor's failed. All right. <clears throat> yes, Chris, I did say it. It's failed. All right, now we're gonna grab this thing. Now, this thing looks bigger, stronger, and it should do the job. Uh, however, who knows? This one might not do the job either. All right, let's uh, 
go reorient ourselves around through here and we'll get going all right so we'll lower him down and the only way we're going to know is once we start doing the um, the rise up and down so what we are going to do is just going to do up and down through here for the moment and we'll be right all right so like i said it has been a while since we've been back with a farming sim um, and of course we've uh the day of recording we've just got the news via a press release from focus interactive that there will be no farming sim 21 for the fiscal year 2021 uh, now i'm not going to delve into that here uh, many others have already started delving into it um, some others that, that have been speculating on exactly what's going to be in 21 um, and speaking of as if they're an authoritative knowledgeable figure on things like that um, have obviously been uh, wrong on that uh, we're going to leave that for the moment we have our opinions as to exactly the reason why giants are not going to produce and release a game so early on um, and we'll probably discuss that in some other forum a little bit later um, but needless to say i uh, i think it's an interesting decision at the moment uh, and as for anything else i'll leave that for a little bit later um what else has happened right let's uh rewind a little bit so my last couple of videos or last few videos really um were centered with uh using a steering wheel that wasn't really doing the job uh it was had a 10 to 15 degree left hand peel effectively it always wanted to sort of turn no matter what it is so i was always having to offset the the steering wheel to sort of try and go on a straight line um, thankfully over Christmas, we, or just before Christmas, we, uh, we got rid of the G27 and replaced it with a new Thrustmaster TX uh, leather edition and this thing is fantastic. I have no excuses for running into things. Um, I do have excuses for doing the wrong button pressing because I haven't finished assigning the buttons and getting all that squared away properly uh, because I had to reset all the controls in Farming Simulator 19 before doing these videos because um, we removed both the, G, the G27 and also the Farming Simulator button box. Um, that cheap button box that uh, basically was a waste of money as far as I'm concerned has uh, bit the dust. We've gotten rid of it, sold it, and uh, we're relying entirely on our two stream decks from Elgato, which uh, gives us much more flexibility and uh, doesn't take up anywhere near as much room, but does exactly the same job. Um, so those two changes in particular have uh, made a significant difference to the way we're going to be playing this game. Um, and certainly I am not sponsored by either of them at all, but I thoroughly would recommend the Thrustmaster TX Leather Edition. Um, it is the mid, I think it's the mid range steering wheel from Thrustmaster. It's certainly not the top range, um, but it's certainly a few levels above the G, what is it, G29, G920 steering wheels that Logitech put out. Um, and uh, it is lovely having a steering wheel that's got some real force feedback and um, just the controls and everything are just crisp. The movement of the wheel is very, very nice. The pedals are good quality. Um, nothing really plasticky about it. So, uh, and you do your back every time you go to lift it up and put it on your desk. So, the steering wheel is that. The steering wheel it is, not the pedals. Um, so, yeah, anyway. So uh, that's that's happened. Um, what else has happened? We uh, obviously have moved along. We've, we reached our thousand subscribers, which is wonderful. And most of you are probably already know that by now. Uh, that was just before Christmas. So that's uh, very good. So thank you to all the subscribers that have been with us since we started. Um, it's We reached that goal earlier than what we planned. Uh, not one that's planned to be a overnight success or anything else like that. Um, but certainly with... Uh, with work and toil and some very loyal and wonderful people um, behind the scenes and also obviously watching the videos uh, we got to that point so um, thank you very much and uh, I hope to continue to at least try and entertain you um, on the Ducks Oli Gaming channel alright 
The other good thing is we've had a couple of uh, relatively high profile uh, games to review. Um, we've been lucky enough to be approved to have done Transport Fever 2 in early access. Uh, also most recently uh, Frostpunk, the last autumn DLC, um, which we had the preview for. And then I've now got a, uh, a full retail key uh, to continue to um, publish and, and, and basically provide coverage of that DLC. Um, so that's, that's good as well. I mean, it's just movement for the channel, all that sort of stuff. Um, and we will be making sure that we bring a variety of videos to the channel. Mainly because it's not that I don't want to have my farming sim centric fans or viewers or followers or whatever you want to call them. Uh, or family as I tend to like to think of everyone based at the moment. Friends and family. Um, we, uh, we do realise that having a video that is just concentrating on one particular platform um, is, is not good for the longer term. Um, and it won't be sustainable. I mean, who's to know after today's announcement, um, we may well find that there is no more farming sim uh, for PC, for instance. They may just, uh, for the next version of farming sim, decide to go console only. Uh, and to be honest, that wouldn't surprise me. Um, but that's, that's all hypothesizing and, and all that sort of stuff. But uh, we can't have all our eggs in one basket. And for those that do, well, it's, it's taking a gamble. And uh, so we're just going to sort of experiment and, and play other games that we enjoy playing and bring it to you. The whole idea of starting off and doing this wasn't to, to make any money or try and be successful or anything else, but just to bring you a variety of games that we enjoy playing, or I enjoy playing, I should say, uh, and sharing it with all of you. So, anyway, that's pretty much brought you up to speed with what's been going on and what we plan on doing. And in that time, we've basically run out of time. So, uh, we'll continue to plow this field in, or we'll use a cultivator, I should say, to get rid of this cotton. And uh, we'll be back in the next episode where we will actually get out and hopefully start um, harvesting that field, field five, uh, with our harvester and uh, get some more work done around this farm. So I hope you're gonna enjoy this series. I hope you enjoyed this episode even though most of it was just talking about what we've done and what we're going to do. Um, but surprise, surprise, yes, we are using a John Deere. There you go. Hasn't happened for a long time, but we are actually driving a John Deere. So uh, as we go off track, I'm going to blame the John Deere for that. The steering doesn't go straight. Um, but yeah, so there you go, Chris. You should be happy now. Anyway, that's it for us here today on Lakeland Vale. Um, hope you enjoyed the episode if you did press that like button if you didn't that's okay chewy on your boot and of course if you're not already subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing and press that alarm notification icon as well so you matter where when more videos are available on the channel also don't forget that we do have a patreon for those that wish to help support the channel supporting the channel will help us uh, pay for things like internet and all that sort of stuff and I'm very pleased to say that in the next coming weeks we will have our NBN connection, which means we'll be able to start doing live streaming in 1080p or 4K. So hopefully uh, that will be just around the corner and we look forward to bringing you some live streams and multiplayer and all that sort of stuff. So stand by for all that. Until then, thanks very much for watching. This is Ducks Ollie wishing you all a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening or night, no matter where you're in the world. Take care of yourselves and your loved ones. We'll see you again very, very soon back here on Lakeland Vale. Thanks so much for watching. See you later. Bye.